everybody, Sean Hatzel here with Getlean and 12 and GL12Fitness.com. In this short video, I'm going to give you some secret tips and techniques for developing your chest area with dumbbells. Okay, now a traditional superset is one exercise done back to back with another exercise. And what most people will do in the area of training their chest is number one, they don't really superset two exercises back to back. But when they do, typically you always do a heavy basic movement like a chest press of some kind, whether it's dumbbells or a straight bars. And then they typically will burn out or end their chest workout by doing something like dumbbell flies. So they'll start out with a heavy basic movement where you're just doing a basic heavy chest press. And I'm just going to use lightweight for the purposes of demonstration here. And just use a, a, a heavy basic movement. And that would be their core work sets. Then after the chest is fatigued and they've done several sets that way, well typically what most people will do, they'll go to cable flies or dumbbell flies to burn out the chest. So they'll immediately go to a fly where you're stretching out like this and coming back down a little bit deeper and getting a deeper stretch and then exhaling up. It's almost like you're hugging a tree when you do this type of uh, exercise. No? So people think a fly as a toning and sculpting exercise, but really um, what you should do is to trick your chest and to get it to grow and develop, you should reverse the sequence. So instead of supersetting or doing a chest press first and then a fly last, it should be vice versa. So when you do a fly and you start out with doing it, number one, you can go a lot heavier than you normally would if by doing it at the end. But the other thing that happens is because you can't use as heavy of a weight with a fly as you could a dumbbell press, what you would do is you go ahead and do as many flies as you can with as heavy a weight as possible, somewhere between five and eight reps if you want to grow. Okay, And then when you're done squeezing out five to eight reps, you immediately would drop the weight, go to a lighter weight, grab it, and now you go right into a dumbbell press. And what you're going to find is that because you did the fly first, in the press second, a couple things are going to happen. Number one, you're going to confuse your chest a little bit, and you're going to use a heavier weight than you ever could normally use on flies. And when you burn it out with a chest press, you're going to be able to do several more reps than you normally would by doing flies second. So here's the secret. Put flies first and dumbbell presses second when you superset your chest workouts, and this is one of the key secrets to getting your chest to develop. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next video.